the Distress Center has been funded primarily um, through the generous donations of the United Way for the past 28 years, um, but unfortunately we have not um, received funding for the next five. So we are um, in a place where we don't have a core funder right now, uh, which the United Way has been um, for us for so many years. We're looking um, for the uh, to the community for maybe more funding, more uh, sponsorships, more partnerships, things like that at this time. Uh, we're looking for an additional $60,000, which is basically what uh, we were getting almost that from the United Way for the past several years. The Distress Center does uh, two things for our community. Um, firstly, our main um, goal and our main mission is to provide that service to the community where uh, anyone can call in um, for any reason, whatever the case may be, for emotional support, uh, crisis intervention, suicide prevention, or even um, just needing help, community referrals, um, just needing help and not knowing where they're going to get that help, and we provide those referrals for them. Um, so that's our primary um, mission and primary uh, mandate of what we do, and we do provide that service 365 days a year from 12 noon to 12 midnight every day. Um, the secondary service that we provide our community, I believe, is the uh, service of bringing in and training and mentoring and developing a great volunteer base. Um, it's all volunteers who answer our phones. Um, so those 365 days a year, are an the calls are answered by volunteers and they're trained, um, they're empathetic, they're caring, and they're knowledgeable about the community, the needs in the community, and the resources that are in the community to support the people that are calling our center.